It's time for Doki Doki Anxiety Session. Let's go. <laughs> I... Uh, uh, I'm stressed out, and I shouldn't be drinking caffeine while I'm stressed out, but does it matter? Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh no. Say goodbye to this scene. Ugh. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'm walking home to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes by myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as a Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Hey Monica, hi, how are you? Oh god. Cookie! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared with all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again, that dummy. You think on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. I'm an asshole. And suddenly, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you really should take a little responsibility for her, Cookie. I mean, especially with your ex after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Monica, shut up. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? Ah! Oh god, my jaw. Ugh. That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica is being her as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different than the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Uh... <clears throat> get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head, 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 get out of get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I tell you how much I, I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Get out of my head. <laughs> uh, what, is, what is this? Reading the poem, I feel a pit in my stomach. Cookie? What's wrong? What's wrong? Everything's normal here. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, uh, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori. So, uh, well, alright. And try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Don't tell me what to do, Monica. Monica calls that out after me. I quickened my pace. What was I thinking? I should try to leave... I should have tried a little harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they've always been. That's what she needs. That's what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. 
I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Oh god, Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Yep, right. Yep. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Uh, it's a kind of a breach of privacy, but she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say or- Ugh. God damn it, I hate that. Ugh. Hi, Sayori. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Get out of here, Monica. <sighs> what the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This can't be re- this isn't real. There's no way this is can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up till a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori that I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why, why, why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it's always been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do, nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance I wasn't careful enough, and now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Uh. Do 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 Ah Anyway, um yes please. Um okay, I only got the music. Damn it, I was hoping I unlocked some garbage so that I could distract myself. I love the name Sayonara for this <laughs> Sayonara Oh god <laughs> I'm in pain guys. Just a second ago, me and Natsuki were making out, and now, now this... Doki doki, goddammit. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... <laughs> my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I'd get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let you catch up to me. Hi, uh, Yuri Monica, what are you, what are you guys doing? Uh, bye. Time to restart. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there'd be any girls in it anyway. <laughs> oh god, I'm in pain. Ah, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Cookie? Uh, hi, Monica. I mean, Monica. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. 
It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... <laughs> what do you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you should check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh -huh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Oh, fuck. <laughs> really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature. Boring. <laughs> That's... That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, uh -huh. it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can, can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She's always she always insists that manga is literature, too. too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? <laughs> hmm. Hey, Cookie? By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance that you would do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... Could you at the very least visit my club? It would make me feel really happy. Please? Um, no. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ref ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Oh, awesome. You really are sweet, Cookie, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Franny, don't make noise, I'm busy, I'm playing video games. Sorry, my cat just came in the room. Quit it, cat! Okay, she's not being loud. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Excuse me. I dejectively follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh god. Hi, Franny. Okay, she's just walking past. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Uh, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh god, it's the picture of Sayori in the background. No! Do 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 Natsuki save me <laughs> Don't be mean Natsuki But anyway welcome to the club cookie Bye <laughs> What's that picture in the background Monica what what's up with that? All words escape me in this situation This club is full of incredibly cute girls So let me guess You're Monica's boyfriend right? Uh, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I definitely don't recognize, definitely haven't made out with, and definitely don't want to make out with. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student, but she's 18, because the game said so. A anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who's a p who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you both. So, I ran into Cookie in a classroom, and he decided to check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought me one new? I was gonna, well, you know, sorry, sorry. I didn't forget about that, I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Cookie? Oh, God. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. So feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm, surpri I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Guys, this is going to be a really short episode, I think. 
because I'm I am having jaw pain from talking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it here for now, and then maybe if I remember, I'll record some more to add on to this later. God, I hate that that picture of Sayori's in the background. Time to save and leave and never come back. When do I get mail? I want mail. Okay, my jaw hurts, but thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, whatever, I hope, uh, 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 Sayori is, um, uh, I love her, I'm making my, I'm making my background her now, okay, god. I'm making it this one, because I love this one. Yes, I'm sure. God, it's so cute. God, it's so adorable. Uh, okay, I'm done. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-boo.